Hello. In this video, I will demonstrate a program that will cause the EV3 to stop when it comes to an obstacle and resume the program and continue moving when the obstacle is removed. First I will demonstrate the main program which has the EV3 travel in a straight line. It then performs a 180 degree turn and returns to where it started. My son will then place several obstacles in the way. When we rerun the program, you can see that the EV3 stops until the obstacle is removed. Once removed, it will carry on with the main program unless it encounters another obstacle. The program was created using LEGO Mindstorms Home Edition. Once again, I have probably made this more complicated than it needs to be. I have tried to create sets of blocks that I can drop in to have the EV3 go in a straight line or turn and change the distance or angle just by changing variables. I have blocks containing all of the variables at the top. The drive blocks control the speed of the large motors. Unfortunately, I've discovered that I seem to have a lazy motor, which throws off everything. I have ordered a new motor. I hope this will help. The distance controls the number of rotations of the large motors. The L-turn and R-turn variables control the number of rotations the large motors have to turn to turn the EV3 45 90, 180, or 360 degrees. Next I have the program blocks. I have called one straight line and one called R turn. Each one starts with the motor rotation block which is set to reset. This sets the number of rotations to zero. This starts a new count for each set of blocks. I then took a switch and set it to infrared sensor Compare proximity. I made sure the infrared sensor is plugged into port 4 on the brick and the program is looking at port 4. I set the compare type to greater than and set the threshold value to 25, which is a percentage value. So if the infrared sensor does not detect anything within 25% of its range, the program will proceed to the true section of the switch. This contains the move tank block which is set to on, and the variables control the speed of each motor individually. If the infrared sensor detects anything within 25% of its range, the program will proceed to the false section. I have placed a move steering block set to off, and brake is set to true. I have also placed a brick status light block. These blocks will stop the EV3 and turn the light on the EV3 brick to red while it is in the section of the program. If the infrared sensor does not detect anything and the program proceeds to the true section, it will then pass out of the switch where I have a distance variable which is feeding a loop. The loop block is set to motor rotation. It will continue to loop the program in the switch until the motors turn the number of rotations set by the distance variable. Once it completes the number of rotations, the program will proceed to the next section, which is an R-turn block. 
This is basically the same except for the variables that control the motor speed and direction and the number of rotations. Once again, if the infrared sensor detects anything within 25% of the range, the EV3 will stop until it is removed, at which point the program will return to the true section and proceed until the motors reach the number of rotations, which in this case will cause the EV3 to perform a 180 degree turn. The program will proceed to the next set of blocks, which is another straight line block, the same as the first, and I finish with another R-turn set of blocks set to 180 degrees. I hope you find this video helpful. I'm curious to know if anyone else has lazy motors. I have also noticed that using this method of block sets and variables to program really slows my PC while Mindstorms is running. The program itself seems to run fine on the EV3. I am assuming that is the graphical user interface that bogs down my PC. Check out my website at av11.com slash ev3. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Please leave tips and suggestions for other users in the comments section below. Thank you.